Now, Charlotte, let me ask you this. You met the president in the Oval Office. You spoke directly to him about this. He's now saying we're trying to work something out. Do you believe that he's trying to work something out? And what is it you think that may be? He said that to us in the middle of October when we were over there. And we, we didn't... We haven't had anything from him since. So the fact that he's saying the same again, you know, all these weeks on, mm -hmm. I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe it. I, I just don't have much hope there that he's doing anything. I think he's probably just said that to... Get the subject. We had Dominic Raab on the show yesterday, the Foreign Secretary. Uh, I know uh, that... Tim, you had... Tim, when you went down there, there was this uncomfortable him, moment when you challenged him at one of his hustings things. We asked him about that and about your case again. Let's hear what he said. I did want to reach out to the family, make sure and reiterate that I'll talk to them any time they want and they've got my contact details. What I can do, and I've faithfully done throughout, um, as to the best of my ability and the Foreign Officer's ability, is clear the okay. obstacles so that the police can pursue this in investigation. And we'll continue to do that. My okay. heart goes out to that family. All right, Tim, yeah. uh, first thing first, do you have his contact details? I promise you, I have never had his contact details. No, none of you have been given? No. And you haven't either? No. So, is he lying? Well, yeah, cos I promise you, we, I've seen him once in a meeting and once last Monday. We you have meeting. no way, as we sit here, of contacting no. Dominic? No. Yeah. Even Not... though they, the statement says, we can confirm after their meeting in October, contact details for the Foreign Secretary's office were given to the family. No, not to me. I'm, well, that's, a, that's, that, that's a different thing. There is, you know, we, we, we could contact the aides, but frankly, he's their foreign secretary. Why should they have to hunt him down mm -hmm. for an update? Mm -hmm. He's representing them. How he's... do you feel, Tim, when you, you tackled him at this Hustings mm -hmm. event? Now, I, mean, I, should, I thought he should have stopped and talked to you. It would have been a better thing to do. It I think he should have invited him. you into mm -hmm. the meeting. I mean, yeah. it was extraordinary to hear him say, it's not on. Yeah. Where, where are we? Now, Charlotte, with this, there, there have been reports that you guys are taking legal action against mm -hmm. the Foreign Office. Is that correct? Yes. And what is that legal action? To get the truth. To get the truth. We need the truth. And how do you hope to get that? Via the courts. You know, our lawyers have put in asking for timescales and everything, every email exchange, every message exchange, every phone call. Um, we want to know who made that decision to for her to leave. Absolutely. To allow her yeah. use immunity to flee the country. Uh -huh. uh, Ratzinger, let me ask you this. I mean, what Dominic Raab was saying was, look, there is a police investigation that's ongoing. They are pursuing this, and we should let the police do their job. Piers, the police have done their job. They passed the, the, their file to the Crown Prosecution Service more than four weeks ago. Why is it taking this is a, so long? Susanna, quite. This is a simple road traffic collision. We all know that there are many other high-profile cases around, mm -hmm. much more complex, with more fatalities involved, where charges have been brought within But the within complexity a of days. here, uh, Charlotte, is that this involves diplomatic immunity, and it's not an easy thing, because clearly, I would imagine, they're all very concerned about the precedent that may be set here, mm -hmm. and that is what's taking the time. But the Crown Prosecution Service may come back and they may say they're going to press charges against Anne Sekoulis. In that eventuality, do you think you'll get justice? I think it will be the start of it, you know, and we can't move on at all mm -hmm. until we get that charge in place. We're not asking for the prosecution. We're not asking them to put the charge in place and then try and bring her back to the country. Yeah, you're asking month. for the person We're that killed your son for the start. to actually be made accountable. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we That's share it. your fury that this has That's not happened. That's what we need. Yeah. Yesterday, Tim, uh, Mr Johnson told reporters, on Anne Sekoulis, as you may know, I have intervened with the president already on a couple of occasions, and we are hopeful that progress can be made. But I wouldn't want to go further than that. It's by no means a certainty. Rather like President Trump saying something can... perhaps something can be worked out. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're being given offers of something concrete or being fobbed off? Fobbed off, I'm afraid. We've not... I've no, I've no contact with Mr uh, Boris Johnson at all. Um, I just think they're just giving mundane answers just to say, that, yeah, they're looking at it, but we truly don't believe they're I not. I think they want you guys to go quietly. <laughs> and what I admire <laughs> most about you is your resolute refusal mm -hmm. to go quietly. In difficult... The mental health here is at stake. These people are very fragile at the moment. They're heroes for just being here this morning. So if anybody in authority thinks that they're going to go away, they won't. Mm -hmm. But don't underestimate the impact that this is having on them and their And, family. Charlotte, for you as a mum, and obviously for <clears throat> Tim as well, but you lost your beautiful son mm -hmm. in the flush of his late teens with his whole life ahead of him. Mm -hmm. 
never mind the burning injustice of what is going on in your battle, how are you dealing with the reality of him not being here? I don't think we are, mm. really. Keeping our fight going all the time is like keeping him alive. But we have to keep fighting. Mm. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Yeah. So it's really hard to accept he's not here. But we have to. And the fire in our belly is, on, is not going to mm. go away. We, we cannot allow this to happen. We cannot have people come over here and take such precious lives away and honest. have that get out of jail free card. It's completely wrong. Mm. We are getting angrier by the day. It's not right, never has been right, never will be right. And we are completely wrecked. We are completely broken like we have been since the 27th of August when she took his life away. But the longer that they take to make this charging decision actually just makes us more determined yeah. to see it through because Yes, our mental health is at stake, is, is at stake, but that won't stop us. Mm. You know, they are hoping, I think, the longer they take to make this charging decision, whether the, the government is involved in telling them, take your time. You know, they told the police to delay something that she'd there, flown away. There's no way they can't charge. Correct. No, absolutely. If they don't, that is an abrogation mm. of British justice and fair play. Mm. And you're not alone because we are going to keep on this. It's why we keep Thank wanting you. to come back on. Thank and you. And we'll keep doing this until you get justice. Thank you. Oh. Tim, I've got to ask you, you know, your Christmas is coming. Oh. You know, we're oh. three weeks away. It'll be your first Christmas without your son. It's going to be, I would imagine, a horrible time for you as a family. Uh, the trouble is it was Harry's favourite time of the year. Him and his brother Niall love Christmas. Um, being as we are separated with our families, he would... They would get double the presents, they would get double the fun, mm. double the Christmas dinner. It was... They love Christmas and it's yeah. going to be horrendous this year. I'm so sorry for you and, you. like I say, we're going to keep on this. Thank, Thank you. you. So we will keep the pressure on... on we'll keep the pressure on the Foreign yeah. Office. We need that. We'll That's keep the pressure on President Trump. You know, Thank we will. You. Thank you so when much. I see him Thank again, you. I'm going to put it directly to him. Yeah. I, I, think he, I think you did move him when you went to see him. I think he genuinely, think as a so. father, was moved by, by the emotion and passion you showed. I think also at his heart, he's a, he understands fair play. That was one of his kids. He wouldn't give up. No. I know he wouldn't. But he needs to turn the words, working something out, Correct. Yeah. into yeah. action. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Uh, thank you for coming in. Thank you. We appreciate thank it. You. Stay strong, keep fighting. We will. And we're with you, OK? Thank you. Thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have a mutual friend of Dominic Raab's who's just messaged me with Dominic Raab's PA's personal email, which I'm going to give to you. Okay. And I suggest that you email uh, to... It's a Dominic Rob email address, but that will go straight to his PA and straight to him. Thank you. And I think Thank it's you. been sent to me deliberately so that yeah. he will receive your email directly. So All whatever right. you want to Thank say you. to the Foreign Secretary, we now have a direct email, send it to him, and my belief is that he will respond. OK? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very Thank you. much.